As the Secretary noted, it is unacceptable. Frankly, it's downright offensive that anyone will get behind the wheel of a car drunk. There's no excuse for getting behind the wheel if you've been drinking. There's no excuse because we all know that the holidays are a time of office parties and family events. And we know that these are occasions where people can drink and many often and many times they may drink too much. If you can make plans to attend a party, then you can make a plan to get home safely. Never ever get behind the wheel after you've been drinking or ride with someone who has. But know that if you do choose to drink and to drive, you will be caught and you will be arrested. Our friends behind me will make pretty darn tootin' sure of it. By collaborating with law enforcement, with the states, and with MAD and our other safety partners across the country, we've made tremendous progress in America on drunk driving. We've strengthened laws. We've changed attitudes. We've saved lives. There's clearly more to be done. Last year, deaths and crashes involving drunk drivers increased by 4.6%, taking 10,322 people compared to 9,865 in 2011. The majority of those crashes involve drivers with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.15 or higher, nearly double the legal limit. Again, double. So, as today's events demonstrate, we will keep fighting to improve education and enforcement efforts to stop drunk driving. But to finally drive these statistics down and to save more lives, we need to look to new technologies, such as alcohol interlocks. The model guideline for state ignition interlock programs that we announced today will help states use breath interlocks to deter drunk driving from both first and repeat offenders. The guidelines emphasizes several key programs to maximize effectiveness, including legislation, education, program administration, and criminal sanctions. Previous NHTSA research of convicted drunk drivers show that with these interlocks installed, that they are 75% less likely to repeat behavior compared to those who do not. This technology offers tremendous life-saving potential. We urge states to use our new guidelines to make us all safer by keeping drunk drivers off of our roads. Our holiday crackdown, which began on December the 13th and runs through January the 1st, as the Secretary noted, is supported by a $7.5 million in national advertising on national television and radio advertising, which features NHTSA's Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign. Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over message will also be featured in a new public service announcement featuring Metro Golden Mayor Pictures and Columbia Pictures Robocop film, which will be in theaters February 12th of 2014 reaching an audience that we are looking at which is age 21 to 34 is important because they are our largest and most dangerous risk group in regards to drunken driving with our continued efforts in the area of education and enforcement and with the power of new technologies such as alcohol interlocks we can prevent tragedies and save lives by preventing drunk driving 